This is a mathematical finance book. It is called An Elementary Introduction to Mathematical Finance, Options, and Other Topics, and it's by Sheldon Ross. Sheldon Ross is a living legend. He's written other books that are awesome, and he's published a lot. He's a professor at Berkeley University in California. The audience of this book is undergraduate students interested in mathematical finance or professional traders. So if you have an interest in math finance or if you're a professional trader, then this is a book for you. L let me just warn you though, if you're a professional trader and you're interested in this book, you know, this book is a math book. It's pretty serious and it's pretty hardcore. So it's going to take some effort to learn the mathematics in this book. Here is the copyright Cambridge University Press 2003. It's funny, um, Cambridge University Press is the only publishing company to ever contact me and send me a book. So they didn't send me this one, they sent me another book a long time ago, but it's pretty cool, pretty good stuff. Let's take a quick look at the content so you can see what this book contains. So it starts with probability and it assumes no knowledge, but we're gonna look at the section so you can see exactly how challenging it is. So you can see if it's a good book for you. Normal random variables, geometric Brownian motion, interest rates and present value analysis, pricing contracts via arbitrage, the arbitrage theorem, and then the Black-Scholes formula. They do derive the Black-Scholes formula from scratch. That is one of the main goals of the book. It's to introduce probability in finance and general finance topics and then derive the Black-Scholes. Here's some additional results on options. A little bit more advanced stuff. Really, really cool to have a book like this. There's not that many books that are like this. So that makes this book really unique. This book is also very clean. Wait till you see the inside of the book. Ooh, exotic options, barrier options, Asian and look back options, pricing exotic options by simulation. And then here are the rest of the contents. And you notice that there's no answers in the back of the book. And I've checked, I've read small portions of this book. I've looked through it. There are no answers. There's just exercises. That is probably the biggest, biggest con of this book is that it does not contain answers. So it's not really like a book that you can buy to like, you know, do practice problems with, but it's a book to learn mathematical finance and it's awesome. Let's take a look at the introduction and preface so you can see how to the point this book is. An option gives one the right, but not the obligation to buy or sell a security under specified terms. A call option is one that gives the right to buy and a put option is one that gives the right to sell the security. Both types of options will have an exercise price and an exercise time. And then it goes on and talks about the two types of options. So European options can be utilized only at the exercise time. I remember learning about European options for the first time when, when studying uh, mathematical finance in grad school. I never knew what a European option was until I was you know, learning this stuff. Whereas American options, these are the ones we see in the US stock market, can be utilized at any time up to exercise time. And then it goes on and you know, it really formalizes it. Thus, for instance, a European call option with exercise price K and exercise time T gives its holder the right to purchase at time T one share of the underlying security for the price K. And then the American call option, you can do the same thing, but at any time before T, which is really cool. Now, it says here uh, one share of the underlying security. Um, it doesn't quite work that way in practice. Um, it's a little bit different. It's actually 100 shares. That's the way it works, at least in the US with American style call options. Here's where it gets really interesting. So Black and Scholes showed, under the assumption that prices follow a geometric Brownian motion, that there is a single price for a call option that does not allow an idealized trader, one who can instantaneously make trades without any transaction costs, to follow a strategy that will result in a sure profit in all cases. That is, there will be no certain profit it asked no arbitrage, if and only if the price of the option is as given by the Black-Scholes formula. That is extremely powerful. And I have to mention that Black and Scholes, they both won the Nobel Prize for coming up with the Black-Scholes equation, which is pretty amazing. It's such a big result that they were given or awarded the Nobel Prize. Here you can see that this is actually a very clean math textbook. It's to the point, there is no fluff. So it's laid out like a math textbook and it reads like a math textbook. It's beautiful. And again, the biggest con of this book is that there are no solutions to the exercises, but you have clean explanations that are correct. And I think that makes it worth it. 
One thing I think that people might struggle with is reading this book. You know, if you don't have a lot of math background, this is a math book, right? This is definitely not something for beginners. Sheldon Ross uh, indicates in uh, the preface that no previous background of probability is required. And he's correct, right? He starts from the very beginning. You know, he defines here a sample space. Let's read the very beginning here. Consider an experiment and let S, called the sample space, be the set of all possible outcomes of the experiment. If there are M possible outcomes of the experiment, then we will generally number them from 1 through M. So S, the set containing the numbers 1 through M. However, when dealing with specific examples, we will usually give more descriptive names to the outcomes. And then it gives several very, very easy examples that you would typically see in, for example, an introductory course on uh, statistics or probability. For example, the first example is a simple coin toss with one coin. And then here he gives another example of rolling a pair of die. So really basic stuff that you'll probably see in an intro to statistics course. But it goes pretty quickly. You can see here on page five, we're already at conditional probability, right? So in a lot of statistics books, that's a separate chapter. So the pace of this book is very, very quick. Random variables and expected values. Again, in many statistics books, this is a separate chapter. Sheldon Ross has it as 1.3 on page nine. So, you know, we've, we've covered nine pages, but if you compare it to other books, you know, you could have traveled, you know, three or four chapters already in content because other books will give more examples. They'll have exercises. You know, this is a little bit more to the point. Let's keep going here so you can see some more of the mathematics in this book. Chapter seven is where he derives the Black-Scholes formula. Here it starts uh, talking about it. Consider a call option having a strike price K and expiration time T. That is, the option allows one to purchase a single unit of an underlying security at time T for the price K. Then it says, suppose further that the nominal interest rate is R, compounded continuously, and also that the price of the security follows a geometric Brownian motion with drift parameter mu and volatility parameter sigma. Then it says, under these assumptions, we will find the unique cost of the option that does not give rise to an arbitrage. And so let's skip all of the beautiful math that we have here. Look at all this mathematics. And basically, he's been building up to this point the whole book, right? Just to give you the background so you can understand the derivation. So if you want to understand the derivation of Black-Scholes, buy this book. And here it gives you, uh, known as the Black-Scholes pricing formula. And this, this is what gave them the Nobel Prize, right? They won the Nobel Prize because they came up with this, which is pretty awesome. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps. What an incredible, powerful formula. The book itself is a really good size. Like, it's a really nice size. You can open it up. Uh, it's good quality. The binding feels tight. And the pages seem to be fairly good quality. And let me just give it a whiff here. Just gotta smell it. Yeah, it smells pretty clean. This is a nice, clean copy. So this is a great book. Uh, for anyone who, again, wants to learn mathematical finance or is serious about using real mathematics in their trading. I recently made a video on another book on trading. This is mainly a math finance book. It's not really a trading book. And I think it's a great book, but it uses something called technical analysis. And not everyone agrees with technical analysis because it's not really mathematics. So I wanted to do another video like this one where I show you an actual mathematical finance book. So the biggest problem with this book, again, is the learning curve, right? It takes a lot of time, it's a math book, and it's not a book that you can buy and you're just gonna like go out and like make tons of money in the stock market. It's a math finance book that's gonna teach you actual mathematical finance. One of the things that always happens when I post videos on finance is the comment section usually gets attacked by spammers. So just be careful if you're reading the comments and you see stuff about crypto and then like there's people replying and they all look like, oh yeah, I tried this crypto thing, it worked great. Just be careful with the comments. Um, I usually, uh, when I see those spammers, I report them, but I don't always catch it. And I think sometimes YouTube uh, definitely removes comments. YouTube, YouTube definitely removes comments uh, sometimes when they suspect spamming. So yeah, just watch out. And always remember this when it comes to finance, okay? This is really important. Nobody cares about your money more than you, right? Nobody does, nobody does. It's your money, you work hard for it, and you don't wanna lose it, right? So just be careful and just remember that and don't believe anyone. If someone's out there telling you that they're gonna sell you this program that always works or they have this trading strategy where they're gonna get rich, not true. Because if it really worked, then they wouldn't be selling their strategy. So pros, I would say the pros of this book are that it is super clean. 
right? It's got nice examples, it's got definitions, it's got content that you can't find in a lot of other books. It's written by a legendary mathematician, uh, Sheldon Ross, he is awesome. I have several of his other books and I used one of his other books uh, when I was in grad school studying stochastic processes. So those are all pros. Con, the book does not have um, any answers to the problems. That is a big con. And I think that's kind of a problem. In any case, I think this book is still worth it for anyone who either wants to learn probability or wants to learn mathematical finance. If you're a math major and you have any interest in math finance, get this book. It's probably one of the best ones you can get. By the way, if you know other good math finance books, please let me know in the comments. I'm curious. I have a couple others, but I really like this one because of the layout and it's clean and it's written by Ross. Ross is really good. Overall, I think this is a solid book on mathematical finance and I think it's great for anyone who wants to learn probability and or mathematical finance. If you want to learn probability using this book, I do recommend that you get other books also to help you. There's nothing wrong with using this book to learn probability. It's just that I feel like you're gonna need some answers to the exercises and maybe some more examples to really, really solidify your skills. The book by Wackerly and Mendelhall is a mathematical statistics book which has answers to the odd problems and you can buy a solutions manual for it. So I'll leave a link in the description to um, that book as well as uh, a link to uh, this book as well. Also, Ross has a probability book, which is excellent, and I've already reviewed it, so I will leave a link to that one as well, so you can get both books by Ross if you really think uh, Ross is the way to go. But yeah, great book. Um, only, only negative is no answers, but that's just something the book doesn't have, right? Like, I, I, can't, I can't really say that anything that the book has is bad, so <laughs> there's no real negative a content in the book. It's all clean, it's all precise, it's all awesome, and it's all written by a legend, Sheldon Ross. I definitely like this book and I recommend it. I hope this video has been helpful and informative. If you are still watching this video and you are not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. I post book reviews and all kinds of other types of videos. Until next time, good luck, take care, and be careful trading.